Hello everyone, welcome back and you so, so much for joining me. So today, we are going to be reviewing the new House Labs. Now, let me start off by saying a few things about this. I actually wasn't going to review this brand, but for some reason, some random night, because I, I, I have this habit of going to bed and then my brain switches on, and I'm like, I need to buy things, I need to do stuff, I need to decide my future, you know, in bed. Um, I just randomly ordered the House Labs, like, box that came with, like, a load of different products because I couldn't be bothered to choose myself. So the whole rebrand looks really, really good. I really like the boxes. I like the way it's been done. I like, um, the, the look of the products as well. The first House Labs, I was slightly unimpressed by because when it came out, it was very... Am I in focus? Now I'm in focus. It was very underwhelming because in my mind I thought you know it's Lady Gaga not like it should be crazy I just thought I thought she's super creative it would be nice to see something like what she's done now basically so this is a really good rebrand and I feel like with celebrity brands you can tell when they're a bit more in it and I feel like this time around uh, Lady Gaga herself may have been a bit more in into it, you know, like in terms of deciding what's in there, n like uh, the colors, everything like that. So this is a really, really cool rebrand. But one thing I don't like about this is the clean artistry thing. I personally don't like the term clean in anything. If anybody comes to me with a brand, um, or for example, on um, Mine and James's podcast, The Devil Cleanse, if you've never listened to it, um, where we talk about this, like, beauty, skincare, in being influencers, all that kind of stuff, we get some um, people approaching us to, you know, to be like, oh, we have this person on our agency, they want to be, you know, would would you be interested in having it as a guest on your podcast? They want to talk about clean stuff, I immediately switch off, no. Clean, no. It, it's an unregulated term, and people have said, you know, yeah, but this is what they mean by clean. The fact that someone can have their own explanation of what clean means <laughs> is even more so unregulated. However, I do have to say that it seems like they have um, done th their best to keep their products safe to use on, on, on everyone's skin and um, all that kind of stuff. So, Past that, just before we get into that today, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Robert, I'm a professional makeup artist with 16 years experience, coming up to 17 years experience, that's a long time and it makes me feel old every year, but <laughs> it's my goal here to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup, so if that sounds like something you are interested in, then do please consider subscribing. Okay, let's take a look at what I got. So I went onto their website and I just saw this and I was like, you know what? you decide for me. Again, here's a clean makeup thing, which I don't like. I don't think they needed that, um, the word clean to be, to sell this. I know it's like a, a craze at the moment, but they could have just been like, you know what, we've made it really, we've made some great choices about the ingredients we use in here to make sure it's safe for everyone, to make sure everyone can use it. The term clean didn't really need to be there because I think the whole brand itself sells itself and I'll show you I'll show you why so this opens up I'm gonna have to take out everything bit by bit but this is a really cool box so it opens up and then inside you have cheek lip all over and eye so for the cheek I don't I've actually rearranged you so I don't think it was this order I think it was eyes first we have some bronzers and highlighters here which we'll take a deeper look at we have some lip pencils and a lip oil <laughs> I've opened these because I've swatched some we have the eye is it called eye paint pigment paint and then we have some eye pencils here as well. And I thought that was a really good mixture. I was like, you know, let them decide. So we're gonna go through those. I did also buy a, whoop, whoop, whoop. I also did buy a separate bronzer just so I can get a good shade. And I did also buy an eyebrow pencil, which I have got rid of a box for because I was trying to get rid of card and I opened that by accident. And I did also try that one of their lip products, which I will put um, a TikTok off later on when we get to the lips, because I, that it was going like a bit viral, like it actually was. And um, it was pretty good. So we'll get into that a little bit later. Let's just start with the eyebrows first. I've already used a wax in my brow because that's how I like to do my eyebrows. And this is the Edge Precision Brow Pencil. Is that what it's called? I just made that end up. Yes, it is. So we have our comb one side, which is great. I love a dense, small comb. And we have the pencil here. Do you ever get a hair, like, on the back of your neck and it feels like a spider is going up here because it keeps touching your neck? Okay. So you see my brow. I need to fill in this little area here. Oh, and this is a shade... 
Noir. So it's a darker shade. Mmm. Nice. Very nice. I love how precise a pencil is. Precision pencil, I guess, is in the name. Um, and it's not pitch black and it's not too grey. Um, I always say this about brow pencils. Some brands do it like pitch black to a point where it looks fake or they do it grey and it kind of stands out against the black brows. I think that's great. I think it's, it's not too much. It's just, oh. I feel like I'm backwards today. I feel like usually the image is flipped. I don't know. I don't know if I did something too much. Look, I curled my lashes and they're hanging down. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was just gonna use that pencil, the brush even, just to lift that up a little bit. Uh, cute, really, really nice. Really smooth, glides on. Like it, I'm keeping that right there. Okay, so let's go on with these, the paints. I can kind of like predict how these are gonna be already. I'm assuming they're gonna dry down really quickly and last a very long time. I don't wanna go in with the black or anything too harsh just yet. Let's start with do I put a base down? You know what, Let, let's use the flesh tone as a base, um, see how that goes, and then we can um, use whatever on top, just because I don't want the, the redness in my eyes to show through. This is cool, this is very neutral. Packaging's cute, I like that. I'm just gonna, um, yeah, put it on my eyelid. This is the shade, what shade is this? Beige Matte, ooh. Very nice, Just it just goes on. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> yes. Oh, I think this might be a new, you know, I could use that as concealer just on my lid. Yeah, oh, that's really nice. Mm. I feel like you do have to pat. I feel like if you drag too much, it might move a product a little bit too much. Um, and I think work quite quickly with it because it is drying down quite quick, which is good, and no creases in the socket, which is nice. I haven't got trouble here. I think my, I think I've got some kind of weird skin texture on my lid going on there. I like that. I like that a lot. It feels comfortable. It doesn't feel dry or sticky. You know, sometimes if you <laughs> do this, or you know, sometimes if you have maybe a hooded eye, it can feel a little bit sticky up there. Hmm feels very fleet. Okay, I need to stop I don't know why I keep touching it. Okay, let's go in with Rose Gold Shimmer. Ooh, I'm assuming it's a shimmer. So there's a matte and shimmer, I believe, in the range. Oh, oh yeah. That's nice, like a metallic-y rose gold. <laughs> That is cute. That is wedding day-esque, don't you think? Ooh. So with a product like this, I'm actually letting it dry on the lid and then I'm taking a tiny bit through the socket because I don't want to interrupt it as it's drying because sometimes you can get a bit of patchiness like the one from Rem Beauty. You know that like liquid eyeshadow they had, which I couldn't stand. <laughs> Oh, I like this so. Oh, look. Oh, I love that. I love that. I kind of don't want to, I was going to add a bit of black, but I'm, I'm kind of scared about the, how it's going to dry down and how much time I'm going to get to blend. And because of this is shimmer, sometimes when you blend over a shimmer, it cracks. Um, what do I do? Let's use a tight, mm, <laughs> this could be a mistake. Tiny bit of black in the outside corners, just to add a bit of definition. This is the shade Black Onyx Matte. Okay, that is pitch, pitch black. I'm taking the tiniest bit and yeah, okay. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay, <clears throat> okay, that took a little while. Um, I'm going to just go back in with some of that rose gold because I think it's kind of, I kind of brushed a lot away. Okay, so to be 100% honest with you, that blending out this black took concentration. I can see why so far I've only seen this black as a solid color. Actually, a lot of these eye products, I've only seen that people do like a solid color or or not too much blending um, because it is quite a tricky one to blend the concentration, I'm sweating. But it looks good once it's kind of like settled and blended in. What eye is this, this one? Okay, 
I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna go back and then blend in more. I'm too scared to like move anything. So there's no complexion products so far, foundation, concealer. So I'm quickly gonna whack on my own, finish up under the eyes, and then we'll move on to, oh no, I have eye pencils. Okay, so concealer and foundation on. So let's look at the pencils here. These are the Optic Intensity Eco Eyeliner. So I think we're gonna go for the black, of course, or the brown. Or how would this... So fuck it, let's do it. I wanted to try this one. <laughs> this is the shade Chartreuse Matte. So one end we have the actual pencil, and the other end we have... Oh, a little brush. That's cute. So let's give this a go. This could potentially look terrible, but let's just do it anyway. Cute. It goes on really smooth... Oh, that's the wrong thing. Smoothly and nicely. Um... Yeah, so obviously we're gonna add some lashes to this and um, some mascara to break it up a little bit. Okay, let's move on to bronzer and highlighter. Now these look really, really good. Physically, they look really good, like they, um, yeah, um, online, however. So I have two bronzers here. I have a shade medium level eight and medium level five. I saw medium level eight, which is this one. I thought maybe it might be slightly too dark, whereas level, level five seems a bit more my tone then we have two highlighters as well the radiant gel powder highlight that sounds good gel powder peach quartz and we have fire opal I, I, this one i don't think is too suitable so I'll try the peach quartz let's go in with medium level five. Oh, this is cute packaging i like it it's kind of like this um like a very thin layer of plastic and then this is inside cute i like that nice let's see how it goes Yeah, I like this color. This is really nice. Subtle bronzer. You can definitely build it up. I'm finding myself having to be light-handed because you can definitely build up and I only want the smallest amount. So I'm just being very light-handed. But that's really nice. That's really nice, actually. Very impressed. That's really beautiful. Mm, okay. Should we try a little bit of a dark one? Maybe we'll tuck it into um, the deeper areas of my face just to add a little bit more definition. Okay, so it's not too much deeper than the other one. Let's just tuck it into these where perhaps we want a tiny bit more. We'll actually keep this one aside also for tan reasons, you know. Okay, I'm actually really excited to try this, the highlighter, the gel powder highlighter. Gel powder sounds like a really nice texture. And this is peach quartz, which I think I've said already. Oh, can you see? It's kind of iridescent, that's nice. Iridescent? <gasps> that looks, I could eat that. Okay, oof. Okay, you know what, let's do a, let's do a little. Mm. Can't see it, this is why I don't do swatches, because my hairy hands and arms, okay. Very nice, very smooth. And it also kind of feels like it smooths out as you blend it in, which is nice. Mm. You know what, let's take that um, other one, the Fire Opal, and see if we can't use it as a bit of a suggestion of blush, you know? Yeah, oh, look, oh my God, delicious. Okay, let's take our bronzer brush that we use, and I'm just gonna do it here. So we're still keeping it on the highest points of the face. Um, so if it's too highlighty, it looks like highlight, but also adds a bit of color. Oh, I love that. Oh my God. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to just do a little bit right here. Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. Nice. I'm kind of going through a stage of not doing highlight around my forehead because it's kind of um shiny and tight enough. <laughs> Let's move on to lips. So there, we have a lip oil here and a lip pencils. People were going crazy for this product on TikTok. And it was one of those things where people were like, oh my God, it lasts all day. It's it's a shiny gloss. No, it's like a full coverage gloss that stays shiny. Like it stays on and it stays shiny and it's transfer proof and everything. And people were like, testing it but they had it on their lips and they were going they were doing like the least to make to show that it stayed on they had it on they were going oh my god and then they were doing like 
oh my god it's on so i wanted to test it and really like rub it and do all this kind of stuff and let me just tell you i'll add it in here so everyone seems to be so incredibly impressed with this house labs atomic shake lip lacquer now for those of you who know me i am not the person to pretend i am overly impressed by a product or pretend a product does something when it doesn't so when i saw people saying that this was glossy but long lasting and didn't transfer i was like bs BS, let me try it. I'm giving it a good shake. This is the shade Rose Shine. Not a color I would wear normally, but testing purposes, I will. So you can't touch your lips together, I've seen, for like 15 seconds. I hooked up here, I'm too scared to fix it. Okay, so it's been a bit longer than 15 seconds. I've seen people do it and they're like, oh my God, it really lasts. I'm gonna go full in. Well, shit. <laughs> Nothing absolutely nothing wow okay i was like no way no way no way we need some nude colors in this this is good this is really good so unless someone is coming up to your lip and aggressively wiping it i don't think this is gonna come off maybe oil when you're eating might break it down a little bit but huh. wow nice so I was pleasantly surprised. I do want to do a wear test with it. It does come off with oil like most waterproof products. So I'm assuming some oils and foods and stuff like that may break it down. Um, but it was pretty good. So these are the Le Monster Lip Crayons. And none of them are really, you know I don't wear color on my lips. So we're going to go for Peach Matte. And just use it to kind of lay down a base for the PHD. PhD hybrid. I don't know what that means. We can all Google, right? Um, lip oil. And this is the shade tint, which looks cute. Oh, I like this shape. This is cool. Okay. So this is like big enough that you can literally use it as a lipstick. I like that. And what is it? Twist? It twists. Okay. That's inc it gl like glides. It's a really, really smooth look. It's not even dragging my lip. Yeah, I like that color. I'm going to do my usual. Go around the edges with a bit of concealer or foundation just to nude it up i like the color just to be like in the middle here i re that's nice that's another one another win and i'm guessing those will be the same okay so let's look at the lip oil now i have to be honest with you i'm kind of over lip oils at the moment because everyone seems to be doing them and lip oils like don't do much <laughs> The Sigma, Sigma's lip oil and Luna Beauty lip oil are my absolute favorites. Um, so we'll try this one. I like the applicator, that's cool. Okay, so I would say about this one, I do like how it acts more like a gloss than a lip oil because some lip oils are pretty much just oil and you pop them on, they feel super wet and then they kind of fade away, whereas this one is hanging around, which I like. Okay, let me get on some lashes and then let's summarize. Is that everything? Okay, well, this is a full face of the new House Labs. I'm actually very impressed. I really, really liked it. I, there isn't really a negative, to be honest with you. If I'm being very, very picky, the only negative is I would love some more playtime with these because they dry down super quick, not just like quickly, like very, very quickly. Um, So you do have to concentrate and kind of take your time but also you can't take your time. But just do little bits at a time and build it up and you can, you know, be mistake free. It's a really nice brand. I really like the highlighters and I really like that more orangey one. Just to add a, a little bit of something different, a little bit of a shine. Yeah, very impressed. I think go for it if you want to try some bits for it. If somebody was like, should I buy this? I'd be like, sure. Yeah, they were nice. Okay, so I would love to know your opinions below. If you've tried House Labs yet, the new one. And the old one, let me know if you think of that too. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.